hi guys welcome back to my channel i'm back with another video and on today's video i'm going to be removing my wig install it's been about five days i did this on saturday and today is thursday so it still looks wearable it's just that there's some lifting happening like around here and also like this side has lifted and a little bit right here on the front so i'm just gonna remove it wash my hair because my hair is also like itchy i'm gonna remove it wash my hair and then i'll do another install maybe on the weekend i thought it was gonna last me like a week i mean for my first time it lasted me enough i've had like people who actually like do installs and remove them like the same day or the next day i feel like it actually lasted enough like i can still go out like this it's just that i haven't um really like done my edges properly up close you can actually see the lifting like you can see the lace here it's also like back and then this is where the lace was originally sitting and my um baby hairs are kind of like stuck there so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and remove it so first i'm just brushing all the hair back And I'm just gonna tie it back so I can just focus on the front. The back is just a comb, so I just um, untuck it and it's done. So to remove my install, I'm gonna use some rubbing alcohol and this is 70% rubbing alcohol. I only have 70% <laughs> and a towel. This is like a face cloth. And Rain is here with me, so she's been going like up and down. If you hear like little footsteps or like Legos going everywhere, that's Rain. Sorry about that. So back to the video, I'm taking some rubbing alcohol and I'm just going to wet this cloth with like so. And then start by like just pressing it on. And this will eventually make the glue loose. So now I'm gonna start like gently pushing it back with the towel. And like doing this, you really, really need to take your time because you can like really, really hurt yourself. So I'm just holding it, I'm not pulling it, I'm just holding it out of the way so I can actually see. So I'm just gonna keep on going like this until I'm done. And I naturally don't really have like a lot of um, edges on my front but from what I can see I haven't lost any. I have a big forehead which is kind of like a benefit um, for like this wigs install so you have like more space to put your wigs than having your wig sitting like right on your eyebrows. So 
that it out. Ooh. So I'll, I'll clean this after, but this is how everything is looking. So I'm just gonna get some more rubbing alcohol just to clean the excess glue. So I think the hardest part is like this um, side here. Like the, no wonder why they say don't put the glue on your hair because it's hard to remove uh, than on the skin. Like it was easy on the skin, but on these little pieces of hair here where I have the glue is like hard. So I'm just gonna get some more and like press it there for a little bit until it's like loose enough because I don't want to rip my hair out. And this side is clean, it's a little bit tacky, which I'm still gonna clean, but I don't really have the glue anymore there. It's actually coming off now. So I'm just gonna do like a final sweep to make sure that I have everything off. And so this is how my hair looks. I feel like I didn't lose anything because my wig was sitting here. And this is where my hair is. So I did get a little bit of glue on my hair on the sides here, but it's it wasn't a lot and I managed to remove everything. Like I still have like my little side bands there. And by the way, the rubbing alcohol that I use, this is just like a Discam brand. You can get it from Discam. I think I'm gonna actually see if I can find like a 90% or a 91%. I feel like that will make it quicker. But this one also works. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you learned something. And if you did, don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys on my next one. Bye.